What's up guys, Yannick Reed here and welcome back to the YouTube channel. As I said before, my name is Yannick Reed and on this channel we like to talk about tech, creativity and lifestyle focusing on photography and videography. So if you like that, do just consider hitting the subscribe button for more videos. So for today's video, I'm calling this the Photoshop elevator pitch. I don't like when videos are too long, but Photoshop is a very complicated beast. People have asked me to kind of break down Photoshop a little a bit for you so i'm gonna do that today in this video and try and design something quick while showing you as much essentials as i can so we're going to dive into photoshop right now so you don't know i'm gonna be small on the screen we are gonna dive into the computer with this one so we're here inside Photoshop. Um, this is what Photoshop looks like when you open it up, assuming that you're using the latest version of Photoshop as of recording this video. It is CC 2020. And this is just what you see when you open Photoshop. As you can see, you can kind of see some graphics down here, but we're gonna make something from scratch. When you are in Photoshop, the first thing to do to even make your files is you go to file and you go to new. On this screen here, you kind of just set up what you call your canvas. A canvas is basically just the shape of your design. So you don't know like on Instagram, you know you have square, you have landscape, you have this, you have that. You have all these different sizes for all different digital mediums, print and digital. For this class, <laughs> this pitch we're gonna make a five by five inch Photoshop file and that just gives us a perfect square background I'm gonna keep it as transparent and we're just going to open it up right now so this is a blank Photoshop file you know, anytime you see these checkout patterns here it means that there is literally nothing there like it's just Photoshop's way of saying this is empty the most important thing or thing and concept I'd say about Photoshop is the layers panel once you kind of understand layers you're on the way to understanding everything you need to know about photoshop everything expands from there what you want to understand about layers think about layers like this think about layers as like sheets of transparent glass stacked up on each other right right now i have one layer i'm gonna make see this button down here this is how you make a new layer so i'm gonna make one new layer two new layer so that's three stacks of transparent glass. You can see on the screen, nothing has happened because there's nothing on any of the layers. What I'm gonna do, I am going to take this. This is our tools panel. All the tools that you use to manipulate your stuff in Photoshop are on this side. I am going to find, so some tools are hidden and to find these hidden tools, anytime you see that little triangle in the corner, it means there are some more tools hidden in there. So what you do is you just do a long click and then you see the extra tools. I want the rectangle tool. Obviously, this is a tool we use to make rectangles. So on our bottom layer, I am going to make a rectangle and I am going to make a black rectangle easy concept click pull out drag we got a black triangle on our lowest layer right our top layer I'm gonna add some text so we're gonna find the text tool which is also over on our toolbar right here click when you're ready to write you know up here these are where your fonts are and you know any font that you have installed on your computer is going to be here and then you have the different types of the same font either light bold or medium you guys should know some of these things from working in any other app i'm gonna click and i'm gonna type tutorial right boom so i'm gonna use our move tool move tool very self-explanatory this is a tool we use to move around any object on our layer. So we're on layer three, the layer at the top, right? So if I click move on the topmost layer, which is where our text is, it's gonna move our text. Pretty simple. Um, Photoshop has guides on, so it can, you know, kind of snap things in place, make it easier for you to kind of have things organized and stuff like that. So we'll have our tutorial. The screen feels kind of far, so the shortcut is command, I think it's control on Windows and plus to zoom in so we can just 
fill up the screen a little bit more with our work. So I have tutorial in the center. On the layer beneath, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to make a red square or whatever color square. Just pick a color or something. I'm gonna click. Holding shift will make sure I make a perfect square, meaning that, you know, same height, same width. If I let go shift, I can go around and make any kind of thing. But when I hold shift, it just stay uniform. So I have a red square there. I hate this color red right here. It's not real, it's kind of clashing, but work with me. Top mouse layer, top on the top piece of glass, we'll have tutorial, middle piece of glass, we'll have the red, and on the bottom piece of glass, we have the black. If I rearrange this layer, which is what we can do in Photoshop at any time, look over here on the layers panel, I take this tutorial and put it under the black, you notice it's gone. It's just showing the order with which things appear. So you know if you want something on the top, in the front, you must put it in the order of where you want things to appear. If I pull the rectangle behind the black, we don't see it anymore. Take tutorial, put it in front of the black, it's back there. Right there. So you can just rearrange it. You can just lightly click on your layer or double click and you can rename the layer to whatever you want to stay organized. Red square. I want to get rid of this red square. Let's just kind of work and kind of make a design of doing this on the fly and try and make something kind of interesting. I'm going to go back over here to our text tool and I am going to write Photoshop. This is the Gotham type that I really like. And oh, so Control or Command T. When, ho when having the move tool selected allows you to change the size of any layer, of any item on any layer. So I'm increasing the Photoshop. So you see our guides here allow us to just snap this in place. So Photoshop tutorial, I select, you can select two layers at one time by holding shift. You see up here we have this align thing just to make sure it's a, you know, they snap on there together. Photoshop tutorial, for YouTube and I'm gonna change that to maybe a medium just so we kind of have some variance in there and boom we even kind of start have something together just here in Photoshop maybe you might want me to jump into something else so let's find a photo all right so we inserted this random picture that I took of Habibi and I know I can use it because I know say Habibi not gonna have any issue if I use his photo, especially because I took a pick up yourself, Habibi. I have this picture in here, and you guys see the bounding box because you know Photoshop is just gonna ask you what size you wanna make this thing before we just commit it. You can change it after, no big deal. But they just ask out of courtesy. We have Habibi here at the front layer, but we don't want to have him at the front layer. Let's put him right before the black layer. There we have it. We have a photo, we have some text. But I want to kind of make this photo of Habibi, black and white. So let us go here to image and then we'll go to adjustments. And inside adjustments, we have a whole bunch of different features. Some of these you have to go over on your own, but we are going to go to black and white. And this is a slider where you can just kind of play with to kind of affect how each tone registers in black and white but we're not gonna trouble that too much we're just gonna hit okay and we'll have our black and white image something else i want to do i still want our text to be visible so i am going to reduce the opacity opacity you know what opacity means your ability to see something so when you take the opacity from 100 and you scale it down we reduce the opacity till it's really faded so you see that's 15 percent opacity i have to remember when you reduce the opacity on a layer on top it's just going to reveal what's below so if i was to hide this black layer and you can hide and show any black layer by just clicking this eyeball here you see we start to see the the, the bottom part of the checkout board so really this opacity is revealing the black underneath so maybe let's make a change and do something a little bit different to give ourselves a little bit of variety I'm keeping this simple for 
new people. Maybe this is not what you want to do with the image. Maybe you want to bring down everything. So I'm going to select all of my text. I have my move tool selected. I'm going to pull this all the way down here. I want to see Habibi again. So I'm going to pull back up the opacity to 100%. You know what I want to do? I kind of want to have Habibi's skull in like a circle, kind of like a profile picture image. What I'm going to do is with Habibi's layer selected, I'm going to hit Control T and I am going to shrink his image. If I hold the Alt button, it shrinks like to the center, like instead of sh like shrinking that way, I hold Alt, it shrinks to the center. So I feel like I want it to be here because what we're gonna make use of is we're gonna make use of masks. Don't get lost. Think about using like a cookie cutter on the place of glass. We can hide what we want and show what we want. I'll go ahead and explain in a few. So first, when you're thinking about your mask, you want to think about like, what do you want in your mask? This here is a selection tool. The selection tool helps to tell Photoshop what am I focusing on on the layer? Just if there's a lot of stuff on the layer, what do I want you to focus on for my next command? So this circle here that you see um, with these marching ants around Habibi's head is where I want to focus on. So when making a mask, right, you're gonna wanna select initially what you want to show, what you want to stay. So I want the rest of this image to disappear. Just the just this layer that has Habibi on. So we see this mask button here, right? Add layer mask. Once something is selected and then I click this layer mask, boom, everything else gone. Easy, right? Hope you're staying with me. I'll undo that, which is Control Z. Because this is selected and I hit layer mask, it's telling Photoshop, I want you to hide everything outside of this selection when I hit layer mask. Boom, gone. Control Z one more time. Someone may ask, Yannick, what if it's the opposite? What if you want to hide what's in the circle? So you're gonna go up to the top and you're gonna hit select and you're gonna hit inverse. When you hit inverse, it reverses the selection. So we're now actually selecting everything outside of the circle that we had before. So when we hit the mask, it hides Habibi's face. Anyway, that's not what we want to do. I'm gonna inverse it back and boom, we have Habibi's face again. Just like any layer, we can continue to move this around and I kinda want to put this in the center here. And we have his face right there. And we have Photoshop tutorial. As a matter of fact, let's let sure make sure all of these stuff are aligned. You know, neat. Keep the graphic design tidy. Boom. So we'll have that all there. Kinda want it up a little more. I'm gonna put Photoshop tutorial and I'm gonna backspace this for beginners. And up there. And add another text. Um live on Instagram at the field marshal <laughs> that's his actual Instagram handle so you can go follow him he doesn't do Photoshop tutorials but you know that's my bridging so he'll be a very willing guinea pig so I just kind of want to bold his handle right there boom just like that it's kind of big so let's just scale this down Right, cool and just like that you know you can all feel like this ready for the road but we can do a little bit more to it let's just add just a small amount of razzle dazzle and then we're out of here I want to add a little bit of color behind all of this all right boom skeng so I have a nice piece of greenery that I took over the quarantine I want to use that for our background just for kind of lushing it up you get me just like I've seen before we just go scale it up we just like a scale it up and that even already this kind of have a nice little vibe I want to see if maybe maybe kind of too dominant maybe maybe not and maybe we can just do something interesting a little bit of adjustments I want to show you some basic adjustments first so we can go into image just like before like how we turned the Habibi's image into black and white we can affect some other stuff on other images using some other stuff here I think so I'm gonna hide Habibi for the time being we have a little crew thing there I want to hop into image 
I want to go into adjustments and in here we can do so I want to go into hue and saturation and hue and saturation is fun because you know if you've used any of these editing apps on your phone like the one I taught you guys for Visco link in description we have an idea of what hue and saturation does you know even just looking at how the slider affects like this is so cool look how we actually access some otherworldly colors here we can increase our saturation we can decrease it and make it even black and white we can pull up the lightness we can pull it down but you know I kind of I kind of like the the slightly otherworldly feel we're getting from this only just because you know it's a Photoshop tutorial if somebody's looking on a Photoshop tutorial poster maybe it should feel a little bit like some Photoshop was done to him we have that there I think to just round off everything I think we should just allow his handle the back the line with his handle just to pop a little bit more just so we can see it because it's so small and I think a, a easy way to do that is just dropping a shape behind it for the time being I'm gonna highlight this live on Instagram I'm gonna take our text tool highlight it go up here to where our colors are and i am going to no i was going to make it black but i can pull out of the colors here and i get an eyedropper tool and i can select an exact color from our purple spacey leaves awesome right so it's purple now and what i want to do is i want to go back to the shape rectangle i want to take the rounded um, rectangle tool because we don't want just a perfect square we want a rounded square because that's what's in right now and we have to make sure I want it to be behind the text so you don't have to make sure I make a layer behind the text I'm gonna click here and I am just gonna drag and make sure that's there it's red we don't want it to be red so let us click right over here in the properties where we can change the color and it's white now. I just want to use our transform tool, control T, I zoomed in with control plus, and I just want to bring it in just a little, it's a little too, yeah, just so we have that. Um, boom skeng, I think that's our design. What you want to do now when you're finished and you feel happy with your design to save it is that you go to file and you go first. You want to save your work in case you want to go back and change it. You hit save and you can just go on like your desktop and say Photoshop tutorial. When you save it as a PSD, that's your source file. You can come back in and change this and do whatever and make more copies and get as much as you want but when you want to actually post to social media or print it you want to go to file then you go to export then you go to export as and most of the time you'll be happy with just having a, a perfect JPEG if you want to change it you can go over here into format and select whatever you want PNG GIF SVG we're fine with just a normal JPEG right here and then export that to our desktop and Boom. And just like that, we have our image that we made. Habibi is now teaching Photoshop. And just like that, that is our crash course into Photoshop. I know some of y'all asked for this. I hope I didn't speed through it too quick. I didn't want this to be too long, but I'm worried it's long anyway. If you have questions, please drop them down into the description. I'm not a Photoshop wizard. Hope this helped share this with somebody who's interested in learning a little photoshop and thing and there are some other links in the description to the visco tutorial which explains a lot of tools in like a very beginner format that you may see in photoshop here that should help you a whole lot and continue to enjoy your day week month year whatever it may be and just bless up yourself